Oh, hey, it's a good day to be a Titans fan. Welcome in the Titans today. I'm your host, Jay Sanders, and if you don't know why I'm excited, well, the Titans have a new defensive coordinator, and it is the guy that I wanted. Denard Wilson, he is going to be the new DC for 2024, and he was widely regarded as the next guy to get a defensive coordinator position. And what's funny is, I thought the Ravens were going to get him. Mike McDonald, he went to Seattle. Ravens are going to take him, right? Uh, uh uh Rand Carson comes in and says, hey, we're building a team, and we want you to be a part of it. I want you to grade this higher off the top of this show. What do you think of this Denard Wilson hire? Give me a grade. A, B, C, D, and I'm not going to say the last one because it's not the last one. In fact, I'd only give you A and B options if I could, but the bosses told me I have to give you all four. So there's your letters, A, B, C, or D. I'm not caring about the last one. Get in the comments section. Let me know what grade you're giving Denard Wilson in this hire for Rand Carthen and now Brian Callahan's staff. Let's talk a little bit about Wilson and his resume. So the first things first, he has 12 years of NFL coaching experience, which is key because, well, Brian Callahan is an offensive mind. You want to have somebody in the defensive slot that knows what he's doing in a lot of different facets. Guess what? That's exactly what Wilson has. He's been coaching since 2012, back with the Rams where he spent a couple years as their DB's coach and then proceeded to go to the Jets, where he was a defensive backs coach there from 2017 to 2020, then had a defensive backs coach with the Eagles in 2021 to 2022. Brass that. He was the DB's coach with the Ravens, obviously, before being hired by the Tennessee Titans. And you look at this and you think, okay, I like what I'm seeing. He's a DB's coach, but he doesn't have any defensive coordinator things. Correct, but at the same way, I think you have to look at this as there's a reason he was widely regarded as a top defensive coordinator. There's a reason why wherever he went, he improved the defensive backs. He was always improving no matter what. We look at the Ravens. We look at the Eagles. He improved their secondaries by wild amounts. And then when he left, that secondary dropped by a wildly absurd amount. Just look at these stats. The Eagles, when they had Wilson back last year, 171.6 passing yards per game, a Super Bowl appearance first in the NFL. Without Wilson this year, 252.7 passing yards per game, which was 30th in the NFL. 30th, 29 differential, 29 spots. And they lose against the Buccaneers in the divisional round. Ravens, by the way, well, what happened last year? Without Wilson, 229.4 passing yards per game. That was 23rd. With Wilson, 191.9 passing yards per game, which is 6th in the NFL. Denard Wilson has put together a resume that I really, really like, and this is just one of many things. Now, the reason why I think this all kind of ties together, he has a previous connection to the Tennessee Titans. I mentioned this a little bit in yesterday's video, if you watched that, the breaking news, where he has a connection to the Titans. And maybe you missed, maybe not, but I do want to bring it up because I think this is a big reason why the Titans got him over the Ravens. You see, Wilson is a former undrafted defensive back in 2004, that began his coaching with the Los Angeles Rams in 2012 as a defensive quality control coach. After three seasons in that role, Wilson was promoted to the defensive backs coach in 2015 through 2016, and Wilson spent that entire five-year tenure with the Rams alongside Titans general manager, Rand Carthen. He served as the director of player personnel, and guess who was also there? Former Titans coach Jeff Fisher. That's what's really got his start in the coaching career. So, Overall, this just kind of makes sense for a lot of reasons. You have the connection. You have a previous Titans head coach who really gave him the reins, kind of worked him up, and was able to, in some ways, mentor him. And now Wilson, who has spent time with the Eagles, who has spent time with the Ravens, who has been able to really grow his name brand, well, he was a top defensive coordinator like position. I was, that was the guy a lot of people were going after. And I'm kind of really, really surprised that the Ravens did not get him. Again, Mike McDonald, the defensive coordinator for the Ravens, left yesterday morning. So I have to think there was something in the works before yesterday that Rand Carthen was talking to Denard Wilson. Now, he got an interview about a week ago with Rand, and they really liked him. From the original reports, it was saying, okay, Denard Wilson is our top choice. Denard Wilson is the guy that we want. Whether we get him or not, we'll find that out. But overall, we want him. Well, guess what? You wanted Brian Callahan, you got Brian Callahan. First guy interview the head coach, you get him. Defensive coordinator, first guy you interview that, Denard Wilson. First guy you hire, Denard Wilson. Now, if you're excited about the Titans, and you're ready for all the offseason stuff, and you want to have your Titans gear ready to go when the Titans are the first team in the AFC South next year, 
then go get it right now. 25% off this hat and shirt combo. And I'm telling you, they're flying off the shelves. It's one of the number one sellers. If you go down at chatsports.com slash combo, 25% off. I'm telling you, get the deal while it lasts. We've had this for the past couple days, but the deal is starting to run out. So go get it before it goes away. I'm telling you, you're not going to regret it. Plus, again, if you don't want the shirt, but you want the hat, well, it makes for a great gift as well. In some ways, a two-for-one combo. You like the shirt, you don't like the hat, get the shirt for yourself, get the hat for your dad. It's a great dad's gift. And hey, I know we're a little bit away, but you can save it. Get your shirt for yourself. Have a nice dad hat for Father's Day coming up in just a couple of months. Be a pretty good deal, and you can get 25% off right now while it lasts at chatsports.com slash TEN combo. We're putting that link in the comments and the description of this video, so go check it out to get that 25% off. Man, I may have to get me one of my own. Let's talk about this coaching staff real quick. I mentioned Brian Callahan and now Denard Wilson. The new look Titans are really, really exciting. I have to be honest. Brian Callahan was the guy that you kind of looked at as, okay, that'd be an A-plus hire. Denard Wilson, we talked about him last week when he had his first interview. I told you, it would be a great hire, but I don't know how likely it was because of the Mike McDonald situation. Well, now, guess what? You got both of them. Not only did you get Brian Callahan, you got Denard Wilson. You're filling out this coaching staff better than I think many people in the NFL expected to. When the firing of Mike Vrabel happened, people around the league, including myself to some degree, were thinking, what in the world the Titans are doing? I now understand Rand Carthen had a vision, and he's building the team of his dreams right now in terms of coaching. I want you to scale your confidence level in the new look Titans coaching staff from 1 to 10. 1 being least confident, 10 being most confident. We haven't seen any of these guys yet. A brand new first-time head coach. A brand new first-time defensive coordinator. What's your confidence level scale from 1 to 10? I'm curious to see what Titans Nation is feeling because i got to be honest, I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Let me know in the comment section down below. I want to stop here for a second and take a blast from the past and kind of look at my top four candidates for the head coaching because I want to look back and see how good this hire actually was of Brian Callahan, who was then translated into Denard Wilson. You look at these four. These were the ones that I said the Titans should hire, and honestly, if anybody else is in there, it shouldn't be. It should be these four or figure out something else. Callahan, Johnson, Slowick, and Quinn. Well, now every coaching position in the NFL is filled. So what happened? Well, Brian Callahan's the new head coach of our Tennessee Titans. Win, win, win. Ben Johnson stayed with the Lions. He stayed. Imagine if the Titans did not hire Brian Callahan and waited for Ben Johnson and waited for Bobby Slowick, who stayed. You're out. You're done. You're going for Dan Quinn, who got a job with the Commanders. You got the best hire in this cycle. I think that's very clear. NFL experience, offensive minded coach, young guy. This was the perfect hire. And all I can say, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I'm super pumped, and I understand that maybe I don't share as this, I'm showing a little more excitement than maybe most do, but just from the way this team is starting to grow and build, just from the top down, it's going to be a fun offseason. So make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. But on top of which, now we have to start looking at free agency stuff. Because obviously you have the DC, you have the uh, head coach. Now obviously Callahan looking for his OC. Probably will not be the play caller, but will be somebody to help scheme the offense with Callahan. Uh, we'll obviously keep you updated on that. The DC was way more important. You get that. But these are the big ones here. Because now you have Denard Wilson who has Fulton, Alziz Alshayer, Danico Antri, and Sean Murphy Bunting, who are all free agents. Obviously, Derrick Henry, a big free agent too, but if you look at the top five, four defensive players. It's going to be a tough task with this defense. I'm not going to sit here and say Denard Wilson's going to come in here and have an easy job with these guys. That being said, though, I know what he's been able to do, and I may upset some Philadelphia fans right now, but... James Bradbury was one of the best cornerbacks in the league in 2022. This year, I would argue he was one of the worst. He couldn't tackle. He couldn't cover. Every single time players were going downfield, he was letting them get wide open. Well, guess what? You have a guy who's proven to improve defenses, improve secondaries. Now, let's kind of compare here to kind of see where we sit. The Ravens' defense with Denard Wilson allowed 191.9 passing yards per game. That was sixth in the National Football League. The Titans' defense, 227.1 passing yards per game. That was 18th, which isn't bad considering the secondary you had. I don't think Roger McCreary, Christian Fulton, Sean Murphy Bunting was a good one, but uh, the other two, I just don't know if they were ever going to be what 
you expected him to be. But let's go back to that first thing about his effect with the Eagles and with the Ravens. Maybe we could potentially see this potential thing with the Titans going up here again. You have the Titans where they could have this same thing without Wilson, 229 to 191 for the Ravens. Without Wilson, 252 to 171. We could very easily see a very similar type thing here with the Titans. So I want you to let me know. I think we could, but hey, that's the hope here. And I know that a lot of excitement is happening in this video, and I'm really excited for this hire. I hope you are too, but the excitement doesn't stop. So hit the like button if you're pumped. And as always, make sure you're subscribed. We got off-season content. We got free agent signings. We got breaking news all coming to you right here on Titans Today. So don't be the one to miss out on it. YouTube.com slash Titans Today. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit with us. And as always, Titans fans, tighten up and peace out. Thank you.